well, first things first, before we even say anything else, did y'all at least hear the intro? Did the intro work? <laughs> it worked? All right. Yeah. We good. We good. All right, yo, man. Because, I mean, that would have been like an epic fail if the intro wouldn't have worked out. <laughs> After all that build up, you know, putting you guys to like three songs, you know. And all that build up. <laughs> An intro not to work. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, I, I, it's a work in progress, folks. It's a work in progress. As you guys can see, we cleaned up the layouts a little bit more uh, so that you guys know where to find all of us at, uh, especially for those of you wondering about the VODs from when we do these Tower God talks. Uh, so layouts are, are a work in progress, you know. Um, definitely improved from last week so that you guys can see us clearly now that the uh, the green screens are gone. <laughs> um I'm but not yes. fading in the background anymore. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're not fading in the background. But as you guys can see, chat, uh, you got a new spot. For those of you who follow, thank you guys for following. For those of you who subscribe, thank you guys for subscribing as well. Um, but before we begin the topic of today's stream, let's introduce ourselves. Starting off with my brother to my left. Technically. That way. Yeah, that way. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> All right. What's up, everybody? I'm JD from Take Games Network and the Hunters Association Podcast. How y'all doing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, and I'm Popo, a county Polton, um, you know, one half of Jomo's Comedic Adventures. Um, you guys know me as probably the, the person that does all the webtoon stuff on Jomo's side. Um, funny story. Um, actually, how before how long did it take you to read Tower God and get caught up? Just for some trivia. I'm gonna probably say about two and a half, three weeks. Two and a half, three weeks, yo, man. Two See, and a half, three weeks. I've been slacking, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I started last year, July, you know, right around my birthday, and then kept putting it off. And then literally, when I was like, all right, you know what, this anime is coming out. I want to be caught up because I don't want to get spoiled like Demon Slayer. And uh, I caught up all the way. Because, I mean, I was already, like, at, you know, in Season 2, Chapter, like, 171. So, I said, I might as well finish it now. And I'm just like, dang, son. I wish I reacted to this live because there right. was some hype <laughs> moments. The power <laughs> scaling was crazy. You like that transition, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> Flawless. Flawless transitions. Yo, first off, Bl Blaine, thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Um, but, yo, folks... Power scaling and Tower of God, a subject uh, that is very interesting when we think about the uh, world building, you know. Really talked about as well. Yeah. Yes, that's another thing. It's not, it's not really talked about as much, you know. Um, yeah, There's probably going to be some controversial things being said. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, given how crazy this series has become, you know, I know last week's stream, uh, when we were just deep diving, going balls deep into Bomb, pause, but <laughs> when we were talking about Bob and how big the tower was, um, you know, like the each floor was like the state, that's said the stage, the size of like uh, the, the U.S., right? Pretty much. Yeah, the size North of America. North, America. North America. Yeah, as a whole. Yes. Um, and so when we think of a world and we're 54... 54 floors into this world currently right now um the amount of powers that you know and say an e ranker has compared to the d rankers c rankers and high rankers and there's a whole lot to unpack there is so being that this is the topic that you wanted to tackle and that you brought up i'm gonna let you take it away where do you want to begin my brother all right so i figured First, we get started with um, some of our most popular and powerful characters mm -hmm. and discussing, you know, what they bring to the table as far as powers, um, feats, mm -hmm. um, their ranking in the series as a whole. And then I figured we can go ahead and start comparing them to maybe other characters in other series okay. to try to try to get a good sense of exactly where the Tower Guy universe stands as a series compared to other series and power. Okay, that makes sense. So I guess uh, the first character that you want to start off with. Uh, I guess let, let, let's start off with um 
Let's start off with Bomb, the the main character. The main character of Yeah, Bomb. I I guess we'll just start with him. Okay. I'm looking for an appropriate image that won't get us, you know, banned from TOS. <laughs> Cuz you know uh you know how they be, man. You know how they be, oh, definitely. so I definitely. have this image here up on the stream, folks, uh, which basically gives you a pretty good look at Bomb throughout the seasons, except for, like, the most final. I mean, except for, like, season three, that is. Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't know how if you guys can see it clearly, um, but you have him where he uh, looks in his event kill, uh uniform, and then, of course, you have him at the beginning of season two, mid-season two, uh after he gets the thorn and then uh yeah when he's just uh it's still over. yeah <laughs> yeah i mean that's we're not getting like the full on look of bomb but you could just i guess you could start right there you know so take it away brother all right so we all know bomb um gifted with shinzu mm -hmm. um has a thorn um i can't remember exactly if they said how much the thorn amplifies his abilities mm -hmm. i can't remember the exact number or measurement maybe somebody in the chat can tell us but we do know just off rip that he's already quote unquote planet level yeah and given the fact that um when he first learned the black shinsu sphere yeah that we learned that even if he uses a very small amount of Shinzu, that it can destroy an entire planet. Yes, which is so ridiculous. <laughs> right, which is crazy. So yeah. it's like, okay, so if he uses a small amount of Shinzu for that particular move, he can destroy a planet. Now, we know the Thorn amplifies his abilities, and especially during season three, how he has learned things to... um. Is it Han Song Yu? Yes. Is that the yeah Han Song Yu about how to use his attacks and have pretty much infinite Shinzu in his attacks, mm -hmm. so it never gets weaker. It constantly stays the same. Yeah. So given this, it's like okay, so he's playing a level. Um, I'm I'm not saying like he's universe level or anything like no. that, but planet maybe. A uh, few planets, maybe he can probably destroy by himself. I think at the current, so we know that with the virtual world, he was kind of wrecking that. I mean, between him and Jaha, they was kind of wrecking the world, right? right? So we definitely know that they're above continental level, so they're nearing the planet level. I mean, right now we haven't seen a planet level. I'll say we haven't seen truly seen a planet level busting ability just yet from Bomb himself, but we do know that the potential is there. Because of the right. thorn fragments, uh, obviously, as a character who can, who who can Kirby anything and everything, um, and for those who don't that wasn't here last week, basically bombs Kirby, you know, like the <laughs> the character man and uh, Kirby. Every time he sucks something up, he takes a little bit of that with himself, and so bomb basically does that with everything. Like it, he learns abilities by getting attacked, right? Um, and you know, that, and he gets attacked once he basically absorbs that knowledge and now he can, you know, pretty much begin to make pretty much begin to steal your own attack, right? He steals everything. Um, and, uh, when you figure it won't be, I don't think it will be too impossible to say in the near future that that ability is really going, I mean, right now he can make his own ability, which it was a really good turning point for him. Um, because that's what he needed to go against, you know, young Jihad. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, during that young Jihad fight, you can clearly say that they're definitely busting some consonants. But I don't think mm -hmm. we're yet at the at the planet because I mean, someone mentioned it earlier in chat that Caliban kind of throws the power scaling kind of into a whole mix of things. But you can definitely see someone like, for instance, regular Jihad as. Yeah. Tearing apart like multiverses, tearing old man Jahan. Yeah, Yo, yeah, 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 I can yeah, yeah. Like, cause I mean, my man's. I mean, we're gonna get to him a little bit later on, but yeah, my man's can. You know, you control fate. You can do a lot of things, bro. But uh, just okay. reading through um some of his uh abilities, cause it's mm -hmm. you know th thankfully the wiki is here. Um, so he has intuition, which is which is natural, right? Um, fighter instincts because that's what he had against the the eel which they noted we already know he has exceptional shinsu resistance 
and Shinsu reading, which is something that uh, he was able to see around Anak, uh, which was noted. And I guess a, a lot of people on this uh, wiki have really updated things once the anime came out um, so that people can, you know, have a better understanding of it. Um, but aside from all of that, I think the most important thing, once again, you know, was the thorn. Um, because these are and reuse thorns, you know, and that's another, <laughs> <laughs> that's another, <laughs> that's, just, that's another oh, dimension all together. Yeah, that, that really is like the, 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 the black Shinsu sphere, which is of course one of his, uh, most lethal moves like that he has. Um, the potential for that right now, of course, that's going to hurt that. That is something that could hurt Caliban, right? Um, we know that we've seen, it two, we've seen, we've seen one instance and we've seen the second instance most recently, uh, I believe, but is it, wait, no, no, actually, no, we've only seen two instances so far of him. Two like, instances. Um, the first instance was, was it when, uh, he was fighting, um, uh, Jensen? Wait, was it Jinsu? Yeah, yeah, Jinsu Ha. So we've seen, like, yeah. yeah, we've seen how Shinsu, like, condensed really uh like shinsu condense can really hurt him um mm -hmm. and, and when he fought uh calavan pretty much because uh right yeah yeah so we know calavan ain't trying to mess with no. any of that at all <laughs> and even you know um this girl uh Evenka was like yeah you know what that like he's kind of afraid of that so it'll be interesting to see like when they like like fight like how that's going to apply even more and such you know but yeah man um I guess. Yeah. Hold on, this man really said jihad is universal. Bomb is nowhere clear, close continent. Wait, all right. So meme, why do you think bomb is nowhere near continent level? That's the that I mean, like bomb. Surely bomb is in continent level because all the floors are roughly the size of North America. I don't see bomb destroying a whole floor. Uh, bomb definitely could destroy a whole floor if we're thought if like that. That's mean, pretty much. Gotta, it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, 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 like you know, here's the thing. Like that's what I'm saying. He's not to the point of you know a planet, but he definitely could destroy a continent. Like North America, of course, is a, is a continent. Like you try to say that he really can't destroy a continent at his current power. Like Yurik at ten percent three. Yeah, season yeah, yeah. three bomb. Yeah, season three. Season three bomb currently right now. Like with and we're talking about with all the power ups that we've already currently seen him has. So if you were to put all those current power ups, like he's definitely like, you know, he's way past boulders, right? He's yeah. <laughs> Bro, hop in a Discord <laughs> debate with me <laughs> this way. <laughs> oh my god. Ch oh, chill man. out, me. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Son. Wait, Vekel, hold on. See, yeah. Is Wait, Vekel okay. Not a dude. And Vekel is a woman. Bro. A woman. Yeah. Evan Kell is a woman. <laughs> yeah. Translations was messed up. I, I know exactly what chapter yeah. they're talking about too. Yeah. 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 She is definitely a woman. His black uh, shins bear can't destroy a continent. Maybe a large. Maybe city. a large city. So that's not are his you... ultimate ability at the moment, though. That's just one right. of his feats. Yeah, there are no okay. So continental except Enryu. Did it? I mean, but didn't my man's jaw just broke into another dimension? Okay, I'm just you know. Right. Yeah. Okay. So hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. So we we already have confirmation that uh, the Black Shinsu sphere that Bomb uses, yeah, a tiny amount of it can destroy a planet. That's what was said in the um uh, in the webtoon, correct? Yeah, that was said in the webtoon. Yeah. Right. That, so that's what they theorized that it could do. Right. Right. And that's bomb at his that and bomb at that level, of course, that's an ability that can destroy a planet. That's what they said in the webtoon though. Like right. that's what they said in the webtoon. So that's where we're getting that bomb is, you know, can be planet level if, you know, he uses this particular move. Because yeah, that's what was stated, stated in the source material. Yeah, it was stated on the floor of death. Yeah, guys, it was stated on the floor of death arc. Right. Yeah. 
That's like when he first when he first learned to move. Go go back to the floor <laughs> death art or where wherever chapter. I can't even remember the chapter yeah. when he first learned to move. Yeah. But yeah, that move itself can destroy an entire planet. And that it, that move is not even fully polished at that. Right, you know. and a not even fully polished move because when he fought young Jihad, Jihad already said his um, Shinzu sphere is nowhere near his. Yeah. And that was Young Jihad. So if Young Jihad's fear was already stronger than Bams, and Bams can already destroy a planet. Yeah, so that's where the, the whole thing, that's why I say, oh, I, I don't believe Bomb himself can, you know, like save, like physically destroy a planet. He has a technique that has the potential to. So right. we can give him the leeway if he has a technique that can destroy. So, because I mean, if we're comparing it to other series, for instance, like for instance, if we're comparing it to like a series like Dragon Ball Z, which has ridiculous power scaling, right? Everybody's simple, favorite. A simple Kamehameha wave, right, from mm -hmm. the sky down to the earth, right, at Goku's mm -hmm. base level, can destroy the planet, right? That's mm -hmm. pretty, you know, every single time people are like, what are you doing, Goku? You're going to destroy the planet? And whatnot. Of course, the, the whole power scale is, is out of whack, right? So if we're assuming if Bomb were to use the Black Shinsu and he were to throw it into the core of the Earth, the shit is going to explode. We're not saying that he's going to do that, but he says that he has the potential to have that ability right. to do it. That's what they were implying with the Black Shinsu spear. Yeah. So Bam can practically destroy planets and it's still not on real Jihad's level. Yeah. Yeah. Which, pretty which much. is yeah, which is why we're discussing the power scaling, because it's right. kind of crazy right now. But that's just something to take into account with Bomb. So yeah, just so that people, you know, yeah. But it was mentioned in the the floor of death. And I mean I'm going over some of the other Shinsu uh orb classifications that they're showing here. Uh, and I'm looking to see uh, when what else they were talking about because they have him. I mean, he has or, different or uh, classifications um, under his Shinsu quality, uh, and everyone's always marveling at the fact that uh, his the amount of Shinsu orbs one that he could control into he the type. Of, five at a time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Cause the like, let's see, uh, black hole shins, black hole spirit or battle of dare jihad. Uh, the committing to his true self and personal ease, Bomb finally releases shining bright orb during his battle with Data uh, Jihad. This time, it's not blurred and foggy anymore. Data Jihad said that even himself had never seen something like a merge orb um, in Shinwaryu. Shin Shinwaryu, okay. Bomb's orb is strong enough to force Data Jihad on defensive stance and release countless bombs um, in order to destroy it. Um, and Dea Jihad admits that Bomb is more fun than he expected. So this was even before the Floor of Death. I mean, this was after the Floor of Death. Uh, and this is when Bomb, you know, of course, with the, the Black Shinsu Spear was, uh, yeah. It's a black hole, folks. <laughs> pretty, pretty much all it is, is he's able to produce a black hole. Yeah. That, that's pretty much all the Black Shinsu Spear is, is a small black hole that he's able to produce. Yeah. So, I mean, you want to go in logic on what a black hole is, yeah. then take it from there. Think about, you know, powers and everything like that. So, yes, planets. Yeah. With a move. I mean, if any of these names for their move... All right, so here's, an, here's another thing, right? So, mm -hmm. one of Jihad's moves is called the Cosmos, right? And the mm -hmm. technique creates several bombs which are shaped like solar, like the solar system including star planet and their satellites right that was one of the attacks that he did use and this is referencing chapter 303 of volume 2 um now of course the level of those attacks i mean one can assume that they can definitely destroy a continent and this is young jihad you right know, right so of course this is the whole like that's just yeah <laughs> But we not. I mean, we get we get way off topic. Yeah, way off topic. All right. Yeah. We're just, so okay. Like, this is what I'm saying. I would leave bomb off at definitely bomb could destroy, destroy cities. That is already we that, easy. Yeah, yeah, easily he could destroy cities, right? So if we're going into the progression, you have cities, mountains. He definitely can. He could definitely get rid of. If 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 Urek at what what was it like ten percent can destroy a mountain bomb can easily destroy a mountain at his current power level, right? 
So I would give him leeway that, say, if you guys don't want to concede the continent, like saying he can't destroy all of North America or could say that he won't destroy all of a level. Now, mind you, the levels get progressively stronger, you know, as they, you know, progress, right? So if we're trying to say Bomb can't destroy level one by himself, like can't destroy the entire level one, like as vast as it is, well, you know, that's what, like, you also got to take that into account. So at his current level right now, obviously Bomb is more than, you know, a ranker. Because, I mean, he obviously, there's, yeah, he's just, he's just broke. Rankers. Yeah. <laughs> but if you guys don't want to concede, continent, you got to say country. At, right. at the minimum. At least at country. The, at least at, country. At the minimum, he can destroy a country. At the minimum. So that's, that, that, that pretty much has been shown in the source material. Yeah. Right. Come on, y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all says, gotta at least get a boy there. Yeah, the juicer <laughs> says you can't take the name of move seriously, though. I mean, we can't take the move, but if these are the descriptions that we're given, you know, that makes it, a little bit of things kind of, you know, it makes the field a bit murky. If the description right. is like, if, if the characters, the other thing is that we're, we're also relying on the translations being correct, um, which, of course, we've seen mistranslations all the time. Um, so that's another thing to take into account with it. But yeah, if some if someone is saying that these are the size of planets, then you gotta be like, well, damn, these are the size of planets. You know, if if mm-hmm. if his attacks are like mirrored after a solar system, well, these and you think of the solar system itself. I mean, obviously, like that wasn't the size of a solar system, but my man's has an had, like jihad had an attack that literally mirrors what the solar system was supposed to be like according to him you know but yeah <laughs> i mean we're getting far off topic i would i would i would say bomb if we were to rank bomb he's at country level he could definitely destroy a country can everybody i guess everybody i don't know about how everybody in chat feels about that can, can everybody at least agree with bomb <laughs> being country level yeah if you guys don't have to concede you know continent right. but you got to give up cities because he's already done that pretty much and we've seen other characters at less of their power do that, like you know. So we can agree okay. that he's at least country level. So because if we can if we? we're if we're using bomb as like the 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 fork of the road, we say bomb is the middle of the road. So he's country level. So now we can rank the other characters accordingly, right? So from bomb, we know that everybody on bomb's team is nowhere near bomb. <laughs> Pretty so, much, for the most everybody part. Everybody is lower than him. <laughs> yeah, everybody. We got this. Yeah, so we know that Kim, we know that, like, Rock, maybe and Rock. Dorsey. Is, yeah, and he, Dorsey, like, a knock probably can do some. A knock might get away from, might get away from, like, a mountain. You know, she did make a crater, literally, in the beginning. Dorsey can, yeah. yeah, that's the case, and Dorsey can get away yeah. from more. If I think, yeah, a a Dor- yeah, Dorsey could probably get away from mountain, you know. Um, yeah. and, but we know that the power scaling for everybody on bomb side, you know, his teammates is nowhere near him. So right. for the, mo- for the majority of the part, I mean, we got some broken abilities, say with a character like Kuhn, right. Who has now yeah. monster reborn. <laughs> <For Kuhn. laughs> <laughs> like Kuhn, oh, and, yeah, Kuhn has yo, monster that is reborn, so true. Bro. That is so true. He does have monster reborn and <laughs> Like on top of Monster Reborn, he has um yeah. what what was the name of that attack card that grants you like two times attack power every time you attack? Oh, I think it, I want to say like attack rush or something crazy like that. Rush Rec- no, it's not Rush Reckless. He gives you like seven hundred. I forgot the yeah one, yeah. But like but whatever like it is, like apparently it gives them it revives them and also gives them some kind of crazy boost to where they can keep fighting. Yo, that's crazy. A, yeah, that's a Hearthstone card right there. <laughs> Right, I'm like, bro. Like, it, it's like it's not only like soul charge, which brings back everybody at the cost of a thousand life points each person. Then it doubles their attack, bro. That's crazy. But someone did say technically that white is on the main team right now, right? So that is true. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can say that right. until Bam finds out, you know, he killed a few people. But <laughs> yeah, he he's on the main team. We can go with that. <laughs> so. I know we, so uh, just to clear up, once again, everybody on Bomb's team, aside from, well, his main team, we'll talk about his actual friends, right? Yeah. So if we're comparing his actual friends, we could say Bomb is here in the middle, right? We'll say Bomb is in the middle, because it's much easier on on a spread. You say Bomb is in the middle, right? 
and Bomb is already on country level, right? Then you could have in Dorsey, um, Rock, and you got to give leeway to Kuhn because of that ridiculous ability. Monster are born, like, right? The power, <laughs> like, my man's Kuhn could technically be in soul leveling, bro. <laughs> right. I mean, he's a he's a walking sensu being. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> um, you think Laurel is on par with a knock right now as well? The other thing is we never really seen much of Laurel. I mean, outside of the very I'm few sleeping. things. Yeah, he's sleeping. <laughs> you know. Um I would say that who would you all right, so here's a interesting question. Who would you say is stronger between Ron and, and Dorsey? Because I think Dorsey. that's yeah, because that's a little more I think that's a little bit more important because in Dorsey lost to Kaiser, right? AKA Elaine, right? And mm -hmm. Elaine but in but Elaine only being Dorsey because of that of that overpower ability as well. Right. Right? So Bomb beats Elaine. So we know mm -hmm. that Bomb of course beats in Dorsey. Um but there was the Ari. I forget the name of the the person that Ron fought, but I know they were an Ari warrior, mm -hmm. uh, and they were pretty much even because he still needed help to beat him. You know, it wasn't a straight up one on one fight as we thought it would have been, but he still needed some help to beat the Ari member. Um, so who who went out of Ron and Dorsey? Yeah, at this current and point, I would say in Dorsey, Dorsey. I, and because even though him and the um, guy from the Ari clan was even. Mm -hmm. The dude from the Art Clan did say he couldn't beat Kaiser or Elaine. Mm -hmm. True. So, and we already, I mean, I always figured that because she is a princess of Jihad, that she was already stronger than majority of regulars anyway. Mm -hmm. Like, the only ones who could probably get close to her level are, like, someone from the um, Ten Great Families. Okay, that's true. Someone says, and Dorsey, don't forget... She has that Shinsu quality that was given white trouble. Okay. And Dorsey, oh, and Dorsey did learn the Hadouken from your... Yeah. Head. That's right. a thing. And then she has Bomb Bomb. Bomb Bomb is broken. Right. <laughs> it's essentially <laughs> teleportation. Like, the, all right, for the Hunter Hunter fans out there, you know that return card that they used during the Greed Island arc? Like, it just literally just, you could transport wherever you want, bro. It's, it's broken. Yeah. As a little, yeah. And Dorsey like, also got Yuri training too. Yeah. 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 And, and Bonbon bon has like no limits, apparently. Yeah. Well, I think it has a cool down time because I think she did say um, she has to wait a while because Bonbon Let's pull to reactivate. Let's yeah. Pull Let's pull it up for Dorsey. So Somebody said Bonbon bon is just as light speed. It's, it's, it's just light easy speed. light speed. Okay. Easy light speed. Easy light speed. <laughs> just saying that though i'm like, like <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of od i'm just you know i'm just saying i mean some of these abilities are just od right um so let's pull up her uh her profile here so people can see okay. some in dorsey um random question how do you guys feel about i know some people like the e n d in dorsey versus the a n d in dorsey yeah uh, how do you guys feel about that? You know, with the uh, I guess you say the anime translations. Yeah, do y'all like Endorsey or Androsy? Yeah, because I mean, I just like her. Period. So it don't really matter right. <laughs> as y'all can see on the screen. <laughs> okay, I have the um the bomb bomb pulled up. If you want to go ahead and read okay. it. Okay. Yeah. All you right. can go ahead. All right. So we all know bomb bomb gets created. It was an item created at the workshop, and Endorsey obtained it at the end of the game. So the effect is, it's a pink fairy that can teleport its users to those around it to another place. Mm -hmm. Its teleportation is only limited by distance and weight, and it's quite free overall. However, depending on the enemy, light bearer, or wave controller's capabilities, the destination of a teleport can be predicted or sealed. In addition, on higher floors, Bon Bon's teleportation range is reduced accordingly by the increasing Shinsu pressure. Okay, um, also it says... She's used Bomb Bomb to fly, as we all have seen. Mm -hmm. And um, at 10% output, Bomb Bomb is, um, and Dorsey can use Bomb Bomb, um, charge one of her feet, and at least a powerful attack. And at 40%, um, it says separate movement. And Dorsey is able to charge a separate object with Bomb Bomb in order to amplify its speed and force. Oof. 
And so that's all we've seen at this current moment. We haven't seen any um, more percentage of bomb bomb being used. So, wow. So I just read the trivia notes as well. According to SMU mm-hmm. and Dorsey plus bomb bomb among regulars is practically OP. <laughs> you know, you can see how she's even given so, like people who are not regulars trouble with it, and this is just. Not like that's yes, yeah, this, uh, this item is just ridiculous, bruh. It, it is, really it is, is a very broken item, yeah. Um, looking at her, I mean, she has basic stuff with like needle, like that's her basic weapon. Um, let's see, the Narumata during hide and seek, Dorsey takes possession of the ignition weapon, she uses it to create a huge blasts of Shinsu after the test, she returns the weapon. She ha- has also proven to be more skilled at using this weapon than Chua would. So she looks like she has a good grasp in just weapons in general. Um, the Shinsu Enhancement, she can use it to her- further her combat ab- abilities. Um, Yori Jaha taught her some of her own techniques, which was the Chilton Sword, uh, which is a weaker version of Yuri's Red Velvet Sword. And we all know that to be the pretty much Shinsu Hadouken. Um, but yeah, definitely. Uh, you remember when yeah, Papa didn't use to stream every day? He got creative in Discord announcements. <laughs> <laughs> y'all be hard on people. Bro. Yeah, yo, man. Like I told people, y'all hard on us. Listen, yo, no, nah, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta admit it. You know, I was, I was slacking, mm-hmm. but now we stream literally every day. So, <laughs> ain't no more complaints. <laughs> yes, sir. So now that we got Bam out of the way, um, and, we know and Dorsey yeah. is pretty much second to him. Yeah, as far as I mean, power. Rock should be there, but the feats are not there yet. Right. Like of all the of the main cast, I think Rock has been the most un, underutilized. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, he did get a power up, but it's yes, still just uh, no. It's, it's baby compared to like right. yeah. Uh, Cause I mean, the biggest power up was, I mean, most recently was uh, Kuhn. Yeah, cause yeah, this that was man, that was the yeah. very biggest power up. The monster reborn, the the Yon's fame, like uh, mm-hmm. for birth, that is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> right. Yeah, in terms of a power, like if it's not even a power to say like, oh, he could destroy things or whatnot. It's just mm-hmm. something that transcends what should be actually going on, like characters that would die. Could not die. Not course. die. Yeah. Exactly. Because of that Pre- power. A big plot plot device. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, but we also see that there's a little darkness to that because he was like, oh, you're enjoy-, the fish was like, you know, you're enjoying my power. I see. You know, so the more he uses it, maybe that's also taking some away from his life. We don't know. Um, but we do know the existence of something that destroys everything. So if you have something that can, you know, rebirth you got something that can destroy everything so they hinted at it so it's a major hint that possibly so- yeah <laughs> possibly down the line. yeah all uh, right someone says doesn't rock have the ancient spirit yeah but we haven't seen the yeah. feats. like we haven't seen the full feats of it yet like he we know rock should be technically like fourth strongest if it's bomb and dorsey uh coon and then rock like that would be in that core group you would say it would be like that. And then a knock, um, who's and definitely, I would say that top five, if you round out the princesses, have to be have to be strong, right? Um, because you still got hats. Um, you still mm. got, uh, you know, uh, well, Shibisu ain't nowhere near, you know, them yeah. in terms of power. He has crazy martial arts ability, yes. though. Crazy martial he does arts, have but it. in terms of actual power, yeah. Um, but uh, I would say that would be... Uh, that would be like a top five. I it, it's really I would say you have to put in Dorsey like number two, uh, and then it's really where you go from there on in terms of you know uh, power abilities. Elaine is a new addition to the group. She's, she's more like as far as teammates of Bam, like sweet yeah. and sour. Yeah, like you know you're mean, there, but you're on that second tier as of right now. You're not on yeah. the main squad yet. Yeah. Someone says, do you think the fans affect the development of a character because they tend to more uh, like other characters more when it comes to any pop culture? I think so. I mean, even as an artist, you know, if if, if someone says like, yo, this is my favorite character, you see this character becoming super popular, you get hesitant about what you want to do with that character, like especially if you want to kill them off. You can't really kill them off. Your editors might be like, listen, man, 
You'd be like, yo, I want to kill off and Dorsey. And then you go get them in the room. The control room is going to be like, they're going to be looking at you I like. Don't know. They'd be like, I don't know about that. Bro. I don't know about that. Well, you know what? You could give her like a life debilitating, you know, disease. Illness or something. Yeah, yeah. something like that. Just drag it out, but, man. Just Right. But we're going to have like, Coon cure it anyway. Yeah, we got. So and then you can have Coon in like season seven cure it, you know? You, you, yeah. You, if you don't like her, disable her, bro. Like you know, make her disabled at the end of season three. We don't see her in right. season seven, you know. Or we, but we have had instances where that yeah. did, that wasn't the case. Yeah. Um, you know, henceforth, a comet got killed, which killed everybody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> killed everybody and their mama easily. Yeah. Like it was just a slaughterhouse. Yeah. All right. Uh. All right. Who who you think we should go to next? So we got Bam out the way. We did yeah. pretty much his whole team. Yeah, so I guess so now the next step up is people above Bam. Yeah, which which is where things get fucking ridiculous. Yeah. People above Bam. So just to just to clarify, so that people know, because we we since we mentioned them, if we mm-hmm. had to make a list, it would be Bam, right where we're at right now, and then mm-hmm. the people like slightly under him, of course, would be in Dorsey, Ron, Elaine, in terms of the Warriors that we've seen that fault that are now on his team technically mm-hmm. that are truly affiliated with him not like white because he's above bomb obviously um but then you have and then so that's like that next tier it'll be elaine and dorsey um ron in terms of fighters and mm-hmm. then you get to like the coon because he has the monster reborn ability but mm-hmm. and he should be much stronger after the training but not to the point where you can see bomb you know uh like you can see him eh, i can't see Coon beating Elaine at the moment. Not at the moment. That, I mean, yeah, but I mean, it's just that he has that ability, so we don't know what it has. But like, well, I mean, can he beat? Can, what, can, do you guys think Coon could beat Elaine right now? Because I mean, for what we've seen, it is pop. It's possible because because he thing, he may can't beat her just in strength, but he yeah. can definitely outsmart her to yeah. beat her. Yeah, outsmart her to beat her. But in terms of right. like. Because if we're doing raw powers, strength, yeah, in terms of raw strength, yeah, yeah. it's a it's a tough matchup. Yeah, yeah very tough. I would matchup. say it's a tough matchup. Uh, because in terms of raw strength, you know, Elaine will probably have the advantage there. In right. terms of intelligence, you give it to Kuhn, Obviously, there's not many right. people in the series that can go head to head with Kuhn. Um, right. And but then and then you will say so. I'll I'll, I'll adjust that because I, I got to take into account intelligence. So mm-hmm. it will be. Bomb is in the middle here, right? Then you have Dorsey, mm-hmm. cause she does have intelligence and she has a strength because she's a princess. And mm-hmm. she has Bomb Bomb, which is ridiculous. OP, uh, as we just stated. <laughs> uh, then you can say it's like Coon and Elaine. Then under yeah. that, it's probably Rock and Ron and Anak. Um, yes. Until we see more of Rock, because he's just more been comical and he's just, you know, he's getting some power ups. It's more, he's still more of that comical character. So. We'll see his more. We'll see more of his developments in the in the near future, but okay. Now to everybody else. Uh, no, 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 so, do you? Uh, um, I guess next we can go with the big sister, um, and Yuri. Okay, so Yuri is broken. We know this. Everyone knows this. Um, how broken is she? Um, because I mean, it's a it's a major <laughs> jump. Like after right. bomb, it's like it's a major jump because now you got to get into like people who are rankers and high rankers already, right? Um, you think we should just go ahead and like distinguish between rankers and high rankers. Okay. Yeah. That way, you know, make it easy, like so we know this, yeah. you know, kind of make a better tier of guessing. Yeah. Who's where? Okay, so let's see. All right, because I mean, here's the other thing: there's not that many rankers that can do what bombs does. Right. Like I don't think, uh, yeah. There's not that yeah. Ranker wise, there's not that many that can. Yeah, he's pretty much bomb is still right. much stronger than a lot of the regular rankers yeah. now. Because even if you think about Heljo with uh, Heljo's power up, mm-hmm. um, that made him like OD as well. Like bomb is stronger than that now. Right. Um, and you would assume that the people around bomb have grown strong as when Heljo had that power. Right. Um. So bomb should only struggle with high rankers. Yeah, I I agree. I would put yeah, I put Yuri over most of bomb's secondary group. I put all right. Well, here's the thing. I have Yuri over. You say Yuri over bomb right now because she still had the black march 
in the Green April. I don't uh, at that time. Yeah. Um, I mean, on top of that, she's a princess and yeah. she's from the Ha family. Yeah. Once she once she dual wielded Green April and Black March, it was a wrap for a lot. Right. Of people. It was a it was a wrap. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Heljo was high ranker level, especially. Yeah. He no longer has that power, though. That's the main thing. Heljo was up there. Like, you know, it yeah. took it took U- Urek pretty much, you know. Yeah. But, one finger. Yeah. One finger. <laughs> Urek. Two OD. We like you already know Yurik is in top three in terms of raw, you know, in, in terms of strength in the tower. Like that, you know, his position is solidified. Um Yeah. Heljo would have Heljo would have clapped everybody. <laughs> Especially on the floor of death. Like yeah, that was, was just Yeah, it was unfair advantage, bro. It was just Right. It was, it was, <laughs> he had everything going for him in the floor of death. Now outside of floor of death, you can kind of make an argument that he yeah. probably could get bodied by, you know, maybe someone else outside of his element. Yeah. But in like, his element, yeah, of course. Yeah. And I mean amongst these were amongst the D rankers at that, you know. Right. So and we're and that's the other major thing when you take into account the power scale. These are just D rankers doing these D rank abilities. For D rank abilities, you can you can like pretty much blow up mountains and cities, bro. Like you could just only think of the levels after that that it, you just ascend to. Um mm-hmm. Because right now he's a C ranker in terms of bomb. So Yuri, obviously, um, I think Green April and Black March speak for itself when she did that. It speaks for itself, of course. Yeah. She's a princess, so that's a power boost. Mm-hmm. And of course, she's from the high family, so. Yeah. Uh, just look where you said it doesn't exist there on the wiki. Wait, what? I'm pretty sure it was said in the uh, the floor of death. It was mentioned. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and uh, other people about also what um... about the black shinsu. Yeah. And let yeah. me find this for you, my guy. Yeah. While okay. while we keep discussing. Yeah. Okay. Someone said chapter three eleven. Okay. Okay, three eleven. There you go. Yo. Check out three eleven. Thank you, uh, Puka. Is that how you say your name? You can see. Thank you. <laughs> Amen. This man <laughs> came through. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, even so, um, <laughs> you know, if we're looking at Yuri's powers, um, obviously with this, those two, the Black March, Green April, OD, right? Um, underneath Yuri, right? I guess you would say Karaka. Um, because it seems that Karaka, like, he knew he was getting vaporized. Oh, you know? yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, he knew, Karaka knew it was over for him if if he took an attack from Yuri. Uh, and he was like, I have to dip. So, obviously, Kar- Yuri is that much stronger than Karaka. Uh, you can say that, Kar- would you say Karaka is stronger than Bomb, is the question. Man, right now... Yeah, I don't know. Karaka looking like a joke right now, bro. <laughs> like, I like I, I said it in my in my um my last reaction of the latest chapter. I was like, Karaka yeah. is a joke right now. Like, he's yeah. like the embodiment of all those characters that was built up just to when things get tough and you need them. He's pretty much useless. Yeah, I mean, he's been hyped up having this armor, this. Lord Karaka, Slayer God, all of this mm-hmm. stuff, and now it's just like, bro, Calavan is giving you that work. I mean, granted, Calavan yeah. is on a whole nother level, yeah. but just the fact that you're supposed to be stronger than Bomb, yeah. you know, and now you're just like, hey, Bomb, do your thing, fam. Take care <laughs> of him. Like, yeah. I'll, I'll try to, I'll try to distract him when I can, <laughs> but while I do that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it's pretty much like yo, Bob, yo, go over right there, do your thing, man. Uh, yeah. Right, and, and I mean, I guess you know, Calavan even hinted at it too. Like, damn, what am I really doing here? Like, I'm I'm focusing on the wrong person. I need yeah. to focus on Bam. Like, <laughs> all right, all right. So then we will say for now, for all intents and purposes, that Bomb has now surpassed Karaka. Um, Especially and, and, now and with the um. The Teresa um, transformations. Yeah. Um, which I heard there was some mistranslations on mm-hmm. that. 
where it wasn't actually supposed to be level two. It was supposed to be that the blue administrator that's in bomb that was supposed to be mm-hmm. the defensive form, while the red okay. one is supposed to be the offensive form. So, okay. like, so that's what I was told. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if that's truly holding up because it was similar to where I had questions about why are they saying Invenko is a man when she's obviously a woman, and then they we found out that okay, the translations were wrong, you know. But maybe we somebody got, can uh can confirm or deny that. Um, we gotta get some new translators. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all slipping, man. Right, we slipping, slipping. <laughs> All right, so I guess from Yuri, since we've yeah. taken care of Karaka and we mm-hmm. pretty much put him below Bam. Yeah. Um. So Yuri is obviously way above. Yeah. So next we head to White. You think? Yeah, I guess we can head to white. We can do white next. All right. So um, we know white right now is above Bam. Mm-hmm. Because this is white completed. Like when he, when white was Hoquin, Joquin, whatever you guys want to call this man's name, when he was a joke, literally, you know, um, <laughs> <laughs> when he was a joke and he was incomplete, he was getting clapped by Bomb, you know, still technically getting, you know, outdone by him. And he looked like a men- this menacing character that was like kind of a joke, but you knew that he had the potential to be godlike, right? Um, and here we are. You know, as long as he's feasting on souls, he has now returned to, you know, his slayer form. Now all the way there, it looks to be. But he's like, you know, he's returned to his slayer form. Mm-hmm. Um, and you even have, you know, Kuhn has, you know, doubled his attack. Um because yeah because why why not (laughs) why not (laughs) yeah he got the drip so you gotta give him points for that he he Um, definitely has the drip he definitely has the drip do you especially with the crown on his head yeah do you think that white can solo calavan right now that is that because that is uh some people have have i've been seeing on you know the twitters some people have difference of opinions. Uh, I know that the f- fast pass stuff is out there, so we don't want to like get into that. Um, but from what we've seen right now, like I mean, where we're at right now, literally, it's gonna be White versus Calavan. So it's just like, is is it? Who do you got? <laughs> oh wait, you guys are fast pass. Nah, we're not gonna do the fast pass because everybody no. that we'll spoil that for everybody. So right, and I'll, yeah, so we, we're and, not doing and, fast pass. This is just yeah. current chapter. Yeah. Official release. Um, Official release, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, here's the thing. I like I, I don't do the live reactions anymore because I kept getting spoiled because of everybody on Twitter. So I started pre-recording the reactions, and then I wait till, like, every week I'll just upload it on my YouTube now. So I am caught up with the fast pass. I said, screw it. I, I'm fast pass now. Oh, man. So, so it, it, it comes to that point where I'm just like, you know what? It's five coins. All right, cool. <laughs> so i'm screwed forever folks oh, but man. but like i like because i know i'm not gonna spoil it or anything right now but mm. i just want to say do you think currently where we're at do you think white can take calavan because uh yeah i mean they make because the my main thing is they made a big deal about it so for him not to, you know, beat Calavan, in my opinion, would be kind of like, damn. But then at the same time, I want Bomb to be the one to beat Calavan. But there's just not, it's not happening. <laughs> I, if I had to just guess, I would say White wouldn't beat Calavan, but it'll mm-hmm. probably just even out. Okay. Because I think it is set up for Bomb to defeat Calavan, because that is his next hurdle. And if he can defeat Caliban, then he can defeat White. Okay. And um, we also, like, White has already said, hey, all those souls in you, you know, I can teach you how to use it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But back back to can White defeat Caliban, I'll say 50-50. It's 50-50? Yeah. yeah I think they'll just stalemate. Okay. We got some people saying that they think it's tie. I think White is going to end up cutting the strap on Caliban. Oh, oh the way you got to use both arms. Gotta use both. I see that happening. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Happening. Um, I think uh, in the in terms of because so, we're we're ranking the the battle abilities between what we think White can do and what we've already seen from Calavan. 
Like, we know Kylo Ren is just so far ahead of Bomb. Like, just so far. Like, like. <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah, it's just, like, it, it, like, the fact that even the Black Shinsu Spear just, just did a little peck of damage up to him, you know, the crack. And, I mean, obviously, Bomb is way stronger than he was in Season 3 than he was in Season 2, at the end of Season 2. But. It's just, I just can't <clears throat> realistically see Bomb beating Calavan without taking the Essence of Bravery somehow. Like, and I mean, at that at that point, if Bomb were to acquire the Essence of Bravery, it's just why. Like, bro, this man is beyond, like, OD. Right? How much strength does he need to take Jihad? Because yeah. we, we've already everything. been seeing that <laughs> in Season 3, like, um... <laughs> I think it's I think it's Ghost. That's the name. Yeah. Um, the rank. Yeah. He said you're nowhere near your high strength. You still need mm-hmm. to get stronger and stuff like that. Yeah. So even if he takes the essence of bravery, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be like, yeah, you. You still can't. You're still yeah. not there yet. Yeah. You you not. You know what? It's like you know before you had a ghost of a chance, <laughs> mm-hmm. but now I mean you know the ghost is kind of like it opened its mouth. It's yawning now. You know. Right, <laughs> you know, I get like because Jihad is just so ridiculous. Like my man's control fate, so obviously Bomb goes against that fate. So I mean, that's just the inner workings yeah. of what Bomb's character could be. Um, but yeah, like White versus Calavan, I guess we will leave it at a fifty-fifty. I think uh, Chat will probably agree with us. Um, yeah, <clears throat> you know, I think it's best. It's safer to leave it like that. Because the other thing is Calavan is fighting like one arm, like right, like what, like what is my man? My man's beating Bomb and, and Karaka with one arm. Yeah. <laughs> and on top of beating him with one arm, bro, he's literally letting them attack him. <laughs> he's like, yo, Sonic Fox out here blocking with his face, bro. Like, <laughs> right? He, like he's like, okay, as long as it's not the um black Shinsu here, you can yeah. hit me all you want. Yeah, it's not gonna like, hurt. Yeah. He was like, yo, you say, yo, black shit's a spill? Nah, but everything else, y'all good. Like, yo, let's, yeah, let's go. Yeah. Let's scrap. Try, try your best. One arm. <laughs> like, that's crazy. Yeah. But, um, all right. So, we, uh, so I guess we're in agreement that Caliban is white or above Yuri. Yeah. Um, he, uh, are, we, uh, are we agreeing that they're above Yuri? I ooh, that is a really good question because because it, you know they're they're the next ones we're talking about that we already discussed Yuri. I think I would so, I would put them on the same level because I don't think anybody wants to touch Yuri when she has both Black March and Green April uh, on top of her current powers, and Yuri let herself get captured as well. If is that correct? At the end, like, yeah, like, yeah, she let she, she went, yeah. She went low and knowingly, so I think they're on that. Yuri might actually be still stronger than Calavan and White because there are other Slayers, right? So if we're yeah, because there remember the other thing is that you know Yuri also didn't they mention that she was it Fantana or Enryu that she met? I can't remember. Uh, I, like, I think it was Fantana. I don't okay, think it was Enryu. Fan, okay, so yeah. I'm thinking Yuri is uh like she's still stronger. Um, because I mean, Cal- this is Calavan and Calavan, I mean, he's OD, but then again, Yuri can probably bop a few slayers, right? Wait, so if we're saying Yuri is stronger than white and Calavan, are we also saying that she's stronger than Jin Sung Ha? I would say. Because Calavan beat Jin Sung Ha. Yeah. Calavan beat Jin Sung Ha. I would say, uh, is that, let's see, she's not stronger than Jin Sung Ha? So, but Calavan is stronger than Jin Suha, but Yuri is not stronger than Jin Suha with, with both 13th month series. Let's see. I bet. Uh, let's see. What, what do you guys think? Uh, she's not stronger than Calavan or White Prime. Is Okay, is this what we're going off by her not using the uh, the two weapons? That's the other thing. Because, I mean, we don't know the full percentage. She's not using both the um Green the months. Yeah, because as we have already seen, it would have incinerated Hell Joe. Yurik was like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> like, you know, during that during that fight. That's when, like, it's just... And Venko is confirmed stronger than Calavan. Yeah. yeah. Well, Venko is an administrator. So she has to be stronger in a way, right? Because yeah, the yeah, she's, she's top, she's top sixty in yeah, out of was, all the rankers. Yeah, she was top so, sixty. What so yeah, she's stronger than Caliban. Yeah. Um. 
what was the rankings again? Hold on. Actually, if we can pull up the rankings, um, yeah, let's... then we'll, we'll, we'll be able to also assess from there. So she's a high ranker. She's top 500, right? Um, she's top 500? That's what it says. Huh. Okay. So let's see. Where does Calavan fit in? Um, Karaka. So, all right. Calavan is above Karaka. Calavan is... They just have him as a, a regular high ranker. But not high ranker that's top 50. For 500. I said 50. I meant 500. Um... But is that is that also taking into account S is a bravery? I want. I wonder. Yeah, that's true. Cause S is. <laughs> all right. All right. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So if we're looking just at, all right. So here's the thing. And Venkel is definitely stronger than Yuri, right? Sure. All right. So this list actually makes more sense. Um, Ha Yuri is top five hundred, right? Above Ha Yuri is Doom, right? This is Baylor Doom, is top two hundred. Okay. Right, yeah, the Venko, you do say that. okay. Yeah, it says that Venko is, is 101 because she just got bumped down, but even though she was formerly like 60, yeah. right? Yeah, she was top 60, right? Yeah, uh, Evan is the he's the guide, but they have him as the top 100, which is interesting. I get this because he's the yeah. chief guy, he's the chief guy, according right? to this, yeah, yeah. um. And that's just, uh, you know, that's just going according to this. And I mean, I'm guessing this list is in order, in some type of order. Because after mm -hmm. that, they go by alphabetical order. Um, right. So if we're just going on, so it's like in the beginning, they go by the rankings. And after that, they go by alphabetical order. And in the top 1,000, you don't have anybody like Caliban or Karaka or stuff like that, according to the high rankers. Yeah. And the rankings are also based on influence. That does make sense. Yeah. Because, I mean, okay. someone like Gustav, like, you know, you probably think how strong is Gustav actually going to be, you know? So, and we don't really know because this man just seems to be highly intelligent and right. just gathering stuff. So, you know, his influence is more important than his actual probably fighting abilities. Right. But you can just assume that because of the amount of clout this man got that he's definitely ridiculously strong. Um, at least as strong as uh, Kun Masheni Jihad. You know, she's obviously crazy. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. let's um touch you know, get back to touch on yeah. the subject. So we we all agreed that Bomb is at least country. He can yes. destroy a country. Yes. So Bomb can destroy a country. We have Yuri who's stronger than Bomb. Yeah. Will we say Yuri could destroy a continent? Yuri continent okay, level. Okay. Do we concede that at <laughs> like if you're a Yuri level, that means you're a white level, you're Calavan level, um, and that Any you level. can you can destroy at least a continent. Or we yeah, can we can we agree with that chat? Yeah. But do you agree with that chat? Like at least if you're at least Yuri, like that Yuri slash uh Calavan and the white level that you can at least destroy a a consonant. Yeah. Yeah. So she it's Renegade saying. Destroy... Okay. So Evercale's she said four. yes because yeah. she would destroy Evercandles four in season one. So that goes back to what I was saying earlier. That mm -hmm. bomb, right? If you because the floors and the Shinsu density gets that much stronger the more you climb, that mm -hmm. if bomb were to go, if bomb season three were to go back to season one, like on the first floor, he could destroy that floor itself. But it would be harder for him to destroy the upper floors, for instance. That's what that's what I guess that's part of my uh, my um commentary was lost in translation. Um but that's what I was meaning. Like, you know, Yuri is just so ridiculous that <clears throat> she's gonna blow up Evan Kale's floor, right? Like that's just level one. This all the, those first floors are just gonna get blown up by her, pretty much. And I think by anybody of Calavan and White's level, that's they're it's done for that floor. Um Okay, so Chad agrees with us okay. that they're at least continent level. So that right. would take up North America because that's literally a floor. Um, right. So now, of course, the floors begin to expand the more you climb. Um, right. The density in the, and it becomes harder, I guess you could say, to destroy these floors. So mm -hmm. I don't see, for instance, I, Yuri cannot, cannot destroy the floor of death. We could say that. Right. 
I think Yurek could destroy the floor of death because yes. yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, Yurek and Ryu Jihad. Now mind you, the floor of death is level thirty four, right? And we're saying that Yuri can't destroy this floor. So yeah, I don't think there's many other people that can destroy that floor itself. If we're right. if that's the benchmark, then we know that Yuri can't destroy that floor, but the hidden floor jihad can obviously just get rid of. My man's gonna <laughs> delete everything from <laughs> <laughs> definitely yeah definitely yeah. oh my god <laughs> all right, right. So as, as long as we're in agree uh, like so we can say that there are people that can destroy floors which inherently would say destroy a continent or whatnot but tower of god's power scaling is just it's just the, the more the higher you get the, the harder it is to destroy say a floor so we can say that yuri can possibly do everything up to the floor of death the floor of death is like the the exception to Yuri's rule because she wants to avoid it. All the other princesses and a lot of people just hate going there in general. So, yeah, I'll say we leave it at that with you know Yuri, the White and Calavan, because now when we talk about people stronger than that, yeah, we're going into another territory. Yeah, um, it's, Blaine said Digital Jihad did say Bam had the power of an administrator. Yeah, oof, and that's a uh, that's like a Van Kel. Like right, level. that's like Evan Kell. Evan, Evan level. Kell level. So the other question is now, as we progress, is uh, is it the level of Doan and the heroes? Are they stronger oh. than Calavan? See, I don't know because we haven't really uh, received yeah. a lot of information on them. Yeah. Um, and I think it was said mm-hmm. in one of the chapters um, that back compared to who they fought back then mm-hmm. their opponents this time are way stronger okay their opponents so are stronger. until they like fight some more of our recent characters mm-hmm. that um uh, have been introduced i don't think we can really rank them okay accordingly okay that makes sense <clears throat> so we'll exclude the heroes for now um i i can say uh, at least for doan we've seen her been at calavan level like because even, you know, Calavan is just like, you know, he's she's at least Calavan level. If not, probably a little under him because of the essence of bravery. Um, but it seems that there are other stronger heroes out there as well. Um, mm-hmm. We just got to we gotta wait and see. Uh, I rank the heroes on Calavan level. Yeah, okay. Uh, you guys know Invenco isn't, an ad, uh, isn't an admin. She's no longer an admin. Yeah. Uh, I think Bomb could destroy a couple of floors with his power, but right now he doesn't know how to use it properly. Yeah, because like when we're saying the power scale, like, this is Bomb has to literally incorporate all of his powers, and we already know that a couple of his powers already like the Black Shinsu Spear is ridiculous. Um, also, like Bomb Thorn isn't even fully, you know, he hasn't even fully brought out the full power of the thorns yet. Yeah, he's only using like a fragment of the power. So yeah. Yeah. So no. Yeah. Op already. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So then, past the heroes, then we get to the, the t- someone's someone's list. This is YouTubers. Uh, probably a shout out to her summon. Um, mm. I read that. Uh, his list is Evenkel, uh, Evenkel, right? Then White, mm-hmm. then Calavan, Jinsun, uh, mm-hmm. Yuri, then Bomb. Yeah. So, By what we said. Yeah, that, I, I, that's a respectful <clears throat> list. I would say yeah. I would say yeah. Because, I mean, if we're thinking Prime White, right? Um, mm-hmm. I forgot what number Slayer they said he was. Yeah, I can't. Was it can't number remember. 10? For, for those of you that remember, was it number 10 for Prime White? Uh, I'm also going to double check it on the uh, Tower of God wiki. Because we yeah, do... Like, yeah, because uh, Yama definitely is... I would say, yeah, Yama should be stronger. Yama's up there. Yama should be stronger than White. Um, and we also haven't, um, correct me if I'm wrong, Chad, but we also haven't seen Yama's full power yet, because if I'm not mistaken, he did say he can continue to transform at least one more time from the white hair and stuff that we've already seen. Mm-hmm. He's done a, com- we've seen him do a complete transformation. Um... But it seems that he, I think he has another form left in him. Yeah, he said he had one more form. He says the real complete transformation is when he transforms every part of his body. So we've only seen his left arm full, 
total transformation of left arm and right arm mm-hmm. full transformation. So he still got more levels. Right. So, and if, He's super yeah, if white is the 10th slayer <clears throat> and Yama is above him, definitely Yama is stronger. Yeah. Prime white. So Yama maybe. Uh, will we put him on Evan Kale's level or below? Uh, or right below? If we go according to the ranking list that they have here, mm. um, Yama would actually be... I just saw his name. Um, that's Doom. Where the hell was Yama? Tech, all right, so wait. I don't see... Where's Yama? Oh, okay. So they Yama isn't stronger than Doom at full power, apparently. What? Mm, I think that was in the past because I even Doom said, past. "Yeah, yeah," because Doom even said Yama and Paul have surpassed them. Yeah. So I mean, all right. So yeah, Yama should be a touch should be touching Evankel's level because if Doom was top two hundred in the past and Evankel was number sixty, oh, that's still ooh, that might be still a reach, but yeah, yeah. What do you guys think in chat? Uh, Slayers aren't ranked according to strengths, so I don't think. No, we haven't seen Doom. They describe Karaka as the most recent Slayer. Okay. How about that one fuck elder who sold, who soloed Evan Kel and Yama? Um, that was due to an ability. I don't think yeah. in uh, raw strength that... Yeah, he was trying to avoid contact. Yeah, and he, wasn't... He, he needed I, help. Y- y- Yama wasn't even transformed fully yeah, at that time, y- right? Yama wasn't transformed, neither was Evan Kel. <laughs> So they were remember the other thing that they were they had to hold back. Well, Evanco Evanco had to hold back. Yeah, or the administrator would get yeah. on her. Yeah, the yeah the elder was deflecting them. Um, so I want yeah they they're not stronger than uh the the elder that elder in particular isn't stronger than Evanco or Yama because they were they had to hold back. Yeah, he wasn't yeah he wasn't fighting them head on. Um, Yama has that. OP shinsu abilities, so he's unharmed by people afraid of him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's also true. Yeah. Which is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I would I would still I would give it like if we're going on what that list says, I would still say mm-hmm. Evan Kel is stronger than Yama. Mm-hmm. Um just given that even when Yama was, you know, a high ranker, that means this is with his completed transformation and everything, and Venkel was still number sixty. Okay. Yeah, and so now she's got Yama, now she's, Yama would be under Evan Kel. Yeah. So okay, so we have Bam Country or Bomb Country, Yuri, White, Caliban, or Continent. Yeah. I would still say everyone's still continent at this point. So e- even Evan Kel and um Yama, you yeah. you wanna still say continent for them? Okay. Yeah, I would still say continent for them. Because All right. because the the only character the only characters that we well, there's actually like four of them that we yeah. can say can destroy a planet. Planet and above, potentially. Is, potentially, right? Would be Yurik, mm-hmm. Jihad, Enri- Enryu, and Fantanamo. Those are probably the only four mm-hmm. that that we know can th- like get rid of a planet. If you can yeah. control fate, yeah, you can probably get rid of a. <laughs> right. <laughs> you can probably get rid of a few levels of the tower. Yeah. All right. Well, since since we since we brought them up and we've been bringing them up, let, let's just go ahead and get into them. Okay. Or or you think we should um no, no, let's talk about it. Let's okay. Yeah. All right. So I guess we'll start with you, right? The weaker of the three. Yeah. The, so, of the top three. Yeah. Because I mean. Yeah. Well, he's four. Top four. Because the the four. the top four is Fantano is number one, mm-hmm. Enryu is number two, uh, Jihad is number three, Yurik is number four. All right. So yeah. the four Eurex, let's start with Eurex. So yeah. we already know one percent of Eurex power can pretty much destroy a floor. At least, uh, yeah, lower probably what maybe like the twentieth floor or some round egg could probably destroy. Yeah, with like what ten percent of his power maybe. Yeah, so I mean he's <laughs> with a <the> finger. <laughs> Yeah, you're, right. you're, you're done. <laughs> right. So like with a finger, like he's crazy. So yeah. Yeah. he we we know he can easily destroy destroy distort, a planet. We know he can distort space in order right. to quickly it says he can destroy distort space in in order to quickly travel across far distances as gusting know that it is very dangerous technique and can have serious consequences for every organism on a floor. So we know that this this is just him 
using his 1% or 10% of his speed, right? Let's just say that. So if that can have serious consequences for every organism on the floor, folks, definitely he's destroying the planet. <laughs> like, I, I say the continent is gone. The continent is gone, bro. Like, multiple continents might be gone at that point. Yurik is just OD, bro. Um, yeah. So, speed-wise, what, what, what kind of speed are we classifying Yurik? Will, will we, will we consider Yurik like light speed? Maybe. I think. Given. Gotta... All right. So, if <sighs> he's not like all right, so damn, if we could compare him to another character, so I can mean when, whenever you talk speed, you gotta think of characters outside of right. like, Flash. You know. Flash could travel at what is it nanoseconds? Is it? Yeah. I don't think Yorick can do that just yet. Uh, um, but Yorick can definitely can be as fast that he's it, if he's distorting space, like my man's. Uh, what is that ability called? I I know the Flash has it, where he can distort space through his speed. Um, distort space. I forgot what it's called. Because I, I think it's... Oh, man. How strong do you think the Ten Great Family Leaders are compared to Jihad? That's, a, no, that's another good question. Uh, but back to Yurik. Hold on. It's, it's called Speed Force. Um, now you can run... He's traveling faster than the speed of light from Einstein's... Yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. Oracle, yada, yada, yada. Extra dimensional energy allows speed speedsters faster following light. Okay, so that I, I we can say that he's probably on that speed of light. It's this is this is, so if we're comparing Yurek to Flash normal, then Yurek at his max might be Flash normal, which is a lot saying a lot because Flash normal is just traveling at light speed. Right? right, we're not talking about nanoseconds opening up time portals and stuff like that. I Go mean, on, traveling back in time, yeah, none of that. Not, yes. yeah, that's that's not as fast as Yorick. Yorick <clears throat> can't do that. Yorick, right. yeah, that's a feat that you know, <laughs> that's a feat that Yorick <laughs> can't do yet. He he can just like he can definitely his speed can probably burn out and suck the sunsu out of you know organisms in the atmosphere, and that's mm-hmm. what light speed can possibly do. Um, and I, I guess if we were saying, all right, so if he, if he could distort space, right, sure. flash normal speed is just super fast. So actually I got, I got to rearrange that Flash's speed is just super fast, right? He's already light speed regular, right? Mm-hmm. So that's, say that's level one, level two, he can cause like tornadoes and whatnot, right? Mm-hmm. Level three, I think that's when he reaches the dimension. So I think that's Yurik. Yurik is probably level three because they say he could distort space. So when you get to distorting space, you're definitely destroying, you're definitely messing with stuff that's continental, right? And you're already approaching stuff that's on the planetary, like, atmospheric level. So that's just on your speed alone. And this is what Gusting was afraid of, right? Uh, but we also got to give in, into account, this is on the lower floors. So we can say pretty much everything from floor of death and below He's definitely ripping those floors to shreds with his with his powers. Um, we don't know what the other floors do look like right now, but I would say that if Yorick, if you were to drop Yorick into the battle right now, for the with the wall, I'm Yorick is probably hands down being nearly everybody. Right. Yeah. Like I think nearly. I think he will beat everybody. Yeah. If it's like. I it's mean. Like, yeah. They they've already stated that Yurek's strength is comparable to all, at least one of the ten great families by himself yeah. and rivals Jihad. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, he's he's broken, folks. He's broken. Right. He's broken. But and, and he's just number four <clears throat> of the strongest, technically, right? <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> when you say it. he's just number four. Yeah. So then we uh, get to Jihad, which obviously he can control fate. I think there's nobody that's going to pretty much doubt that Jihad can destroy a planet. Um, like, my man just literally was to race the floor. <laughs> pretty much. He was like, yo, let's, so let's see the what the wiki says on Zah- uh, okay. Mr. Zahad. Someone uh, says he's just so much stronger. Oh, yeah, because I know they were mentioning Phantanimum. Phant- uh, so just a quick thing on Phantanimum. He could destroy the tower whenever he wants. 
So that's why right. he's no, automatically number one. Yeah, that's like Galaxy <laughs> Universal. Yeah, he, 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 he just he's literally the Omni King, like from yeah from, um, from DBZ. When he just says, "All right, you know, I want to, you know, reset this world," um, and that's Omni King level. Yeah, that's the universe. That's the Universal yeah. Buster. Yeah, that's Universal. Yeah, because if you destroy the tower, you destroy the tower. Got universe and everything in it. He doesn't care what goes on in. It. He's just like, "All right, reset." Right, we're gonna start <laughs> over from the beginning. Yeah. Yep. All right, so let's let's see about Mr. Zahai. Okay, so he has precondition and mm-hmm. fate manipulation, as we already stated. Yeah. Um, it's, it's it, he's already immortal. That yeah. uh, something we also stated. Yeah. Which is crazy by itself, so you can't kill him. Yeah, you got. You <laughs> literally have to remove this man from play. I don't know how, but there's some Yu-Gi-Oh cards right. out there that can do it. So <laughs> if he's stronger than Yurik. Yeah. Which means he'll be faster than Yurek as well because they say he has immense speed. So we'll probably put him at level as far as speed or what we were just talking about. Will we say... I mean, even at a speed level, he got to be like level 7. <laughs> and I'd be just assuming that there's just some like some planets. All right, so we already know he's planet, right? So you got to say, what comes up the planet? Are we going uh, like galaxies? Is that what we do? Or solar system? Yeah. I, I mean, so he can definitely bust star or a star level, maybe. I think. Uh, hold on. What's the power scaling level? Because I mean, if you have planet busters, then after that you get galaxy busters. Um, or is it solar solar system busters? I'm not too sure. I mean, I, either way, I think. <clears throat> wait, no, because there's galaxies within a within the solar system, and then the solar system itself. Um. Hold on, Buster levels destructive. Okay, so destructive capacity. We have after so after country it's continent continent. Oh wait, all right. So we have to let's rearrange some things real quick. Country level we know bomb can do right. Okay. Continent level we said that Yuri, um, White and Caliban can do right. Moon level, don't you think they could destroy the moon? I think a couple of these characters could destroy the moon already. Yeah. Or you think? All right, so. I mean, we I'm already. Gonna... Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll probably put like Evan Kell in them, maybe moon. I'll, well, yeah, because I say Evan at least Kell, Evan Kell. I say at least Evan Kell is the moon level, right? Because after the right. moon comes planet. And we know yeah. Yurek can definitely do a planet. Yurek, can, do you think he could do a star? I'm, I'm thinking because. Uh, yeah, I think he can do his. I don't think he can do a star. I don't think. Do you guys now? Think Jihad, I think, can do a star because all right, because Jihad, his ability should be all right. So, because after star, there's solar system, there's small mm-hmm. galaxy, there's galaxy, actual galaxy, then there's mm-hmm. the large galaxy, there's the multiple, multiple, uh, pole galaxy, and then there's universe. So, Fantanalum is level 20, yeah. is the universe right. level, right? Yeah. He he's um, universe. So now there's there's and after universe comes multiverse, megaverse, multi megaverse, and omniverse. Yeah. That we we Fantanum should not be that level. So we should we can cap let's say Fantanum is capped at universe level because Tower of God is just one universe, right? So if he can, I mean, but it's, it is one universe. It's, uh, I forgot what the, the his uh, SIU's name translates to a slave in utero. I think that's something like that, and then as part of a bigger universe and whatnot, and we know Phantanum controls just one. Well, not really oh. controls, but he can influence this one universe, right? Mm-hmm. So Phantanum right. universe level. Um, we can say that Enryu is probably galaxy level. Yeah. And I would say that Jihad, Jihad is star. Uh, will probably be solar system level. Solar, okay. Because so he's, he's that mentioned. that is, yeah. but that's a big jump when we're looking at it. Because if yeah. we have Yurik at Moon, and yeah. then Jihad at Solar, actually Yurik at Planet. We put Yurik. Oh, Yurik, Yurik at Planet. Yeah, because okay, because Planet is is thir- is level thirteen, mm-hmm. Stars level fourteen, Solar System is level fifteen, uh, and so we could say Jihad is at least Solar System level. Would you say that? Because I mean, 
at this rate, like what comes after the solar system is the galaxies. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I would say at, at I would say he's that solar system. Obviously he's also hinted at the stars and stuff like that. But the floor is above Jihad, you know, there's what hundred thirty four. He stopped climbing as well. Yeah, he, he and that's only because he stopped climbing. Yeah. For whatever reason he stopped climbing. Uh someone says I feel that's too big of a gap for Yurik to rival Jihad. So And under... that that's what I was kind of thinking okay. because they they've stated multiple times that Yurik is the only one that's can somewhat rival Jihad in power. So that means we will have to bump Yurik up or either bump Jihad down. I would say we should I I think we should rather bump Yurik up cuz if Yeah, bump him up. Cuz what we had him leaving off at a, what? It was a planet level or star level? Uh planet. Okay. So, so he should probably be He should probably be star level. Or... Yeah. I mean Either way it go, Jihad is stronger than Yurik. Yeah. Then, he's he's yeah. just the only one that's close to his power. Yeah. That yeah, that's active at that. Right. So it would be star level. Cause I mean if we're saying that Yurik is solar system like bursting as well. I mean, if you want to put them here's the thing. There's there there isn't an option for this, right? You put mm -hmm. Jihad in the galaxy level, you put Yurik in the solar system level. Because right. only because Yurik was stated that his speed can distort the, the the dimensions, and when you get into dimensions, I mean, like that's a whole different ball game. Um, right. But at the same time, we do know the power that Jihad has is ridiculous as well. Uh, but it's like the gap, because I mean, it's also the gap between Yurik and then number five on the list, um, which was, was Ari Evan Kell. No, Arihan. Oh, Arihan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, we don't know much about him um, at all. <laughs> uh, yeah. For that, he's the strongest of the great warriors. He's an outstanding swordsmanship. Um, let's say, let's. And Arihan said, Yurik Mazano is much better. He has not fought him uh, after. He has not fought anyone after fighting Yurik. So, yeah, that's a big gap. But even though, like, uh, they said, someone mentioned it earlier in chat. That um, they said that uh, uh, Kun Edan was able to destroy a couple of floors of his spear alone. Hmm. Right. So if you're destroying a couple of floors, that means you're destroying a couple of consonants at least. Right. Just with your spear, not with anything else. Yeah. So the so let's just say the heads of the ten great families are planet. Yeah. At least. Okay. Yeah, at least. yeah, at least planet. The heads of the Ten Gray family are at least planet level. We can give yeah, we give them leeway. We say that they're at least they could should be able to destroy a planet at the at the bare minimum. Right. right. So at the bare minimum, they're 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 destroying a planet, right? For the as a Ted Head families, right? Then mm -hmm. you would say that when you get to the top five, right? Um mm -hmm. obviously not I mean I have a little I have questions about Ari Han. Whether he's there mm -hmm. more so for his influence or more so for his power, uh, because if well, I mean, yeah. power wise, just the his body alone is like yeah. crazy. True, that is true. But what we say his power alone would be star level. Do we can see that to him? Is he stated to be the strongest out of the ten great families? Um, I mean, he's ranked the highest. Because I mean, after after Ari, there is only Yurek, and then Z Jihad, and then Enryu and Phantanimum. Below him directly is Kun Edan. I don't think he has a strongest until we get in the tower. So that's what they're saying. Yeah. So Ari. Okay. So I, I think just for the for right now to get some more information, I think we should just stick them all and at Planet. planet. Okay. Yeah. So we'll stick them all at planet, and so then we'll say because Urek is stronger than Ari, right? We'll put him at star, and then we'll put Jihad at solar system. Yeah. It Enryu seems... would be galaxy. Enryu would be galaxy, and then, because that's, that's still, a, it's a major jump after that. Right, because yeah, Enryu was able to kill an administrator and pretty much destroy an entire floor with yeah. ease. Yeah, with ease. So that's at least galaxy. 
right on type of fighting like other high rankers at the same time (laughs) that's at least a galaxy that's literally two levels because if uh so jihad's is solar system level and then Mm -hmm. enryu is a uh i would say galaxy level because there's small galaxy then there's galaxy then there's large but we'll put it in the middle at just regular galaxy level Mm -hmm. and then at the top would be universe is universe level um because like we said, like they said, he could destroy just the Tower of God, right? If he wanted to, right? So that's one universe. It, we don't know about any others it. that he could do, but yeah, he could destroy it. So that's the universe level. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> just thinking about this, I mean, you know, where where we started off with bomb, which was where we could pretty much rank everybody else from. Um, <laughs> it took us a while to get to this point, but. I think they most people would, yeah. I think most people would uh, would agree with us overall that bomb is at least at that uh country level, yeah. Because yeah, when you go from there on, yeah, yeah. Everybody in chat, let us know what do you think of at least the final four that we talked about. Yeah. Do you think they should be higher, lower? Because I, I want to get you guys um takes on it as well. Yeah. I'm going to link in chat what was the website I was looking at. I just sent it to you on Discord as well. I'm going to send it in the chat here. Uh, so you guys can see what I was using as a reference for thinking about the power levels. Because Bomb can destroy an island. Easy. Right? He can destroy a city and a mountain. They have that as the same. Mm-hmm. Um, so he can should be able to at least destroy a country. You know? Right. That, that, yeah. For the most, yes. Yeah, so, so at, at the at the very least, that's why I was like, at the very least, bomb can destroy. We know you can destroy an island, right? That's that's not. Right. Good. That's wasn't they technically on an island when they was in the data mine? So he was, yeah, the data, yeah, yeah jihad fight. So technically, or well, technically on an island, and that was getting wrecked. Um, so he should be able to destroy a country. Um, if the floors technically are the size of consonants at the very at the very Level say say floor one is the size of a continent, right? And I'm guessing the higher you go with the floor is the more expansive the universe of these floors become. Um he's not at that level where he can destroy, say, once again, like the floor depths and whatnot. But you know, he can definitely get away with destroying some of the lower floors. Um someone says I say well, multiverse. Multiverse, depending on Okay, that yeah. Okay, so yeah, if if the the Taos user is the Omniverse, then yeah. Because, you know, right now we know he can destroy a universe. We don't know how many universes. If he can destroy more than one, then he's Omniverse. Well, he's Multiverse. Okay. And then yeah. if he can destroy everything, then he's Omniverse. So, that's, yeah, that's that level. Um, so, okay, so we're sticking with... You want to just stick with Universe for him? Since yeah. we don't know if he can destroy more? Yeah, we'll yeah we'll stick with universe because we just don't know if he can destroy more. It it sounds like he can. Um, I mean, we we know easily he can destroy one. Yeah, but yeah, we I mean, need, unless we he's need, also the, the god of the feats. outside the tower. Yeah, we need the yeah. other feats. <laughs> yeah, we we'll, we'll definitely. Yeah, I mean we're we're definitely probably gonna revisit this. Yeah, we're like, gonna revisit this like with a better as the story progresses as well. Yeah. Uh, as long as, as long he destroys as... one universe, he gets stronger. Imagine being able to destroy more as he goes. Yeah. I mean, it's got to be, it has to be canon, like, that he could destroy more than one universe. I mean, because right. he's already affecting the fate of, well, what's pretty much Tower of God itself, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and when, I feel like when they do get more into the whole Axis stuff, then we'll be able to come back to this and be like, okay, Phantom is clearly multiverse or omniverse. But... We know right now, at the bare minimum, we can say that he's universe and there's nobody touching him. Yeah. 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 Oh man. Hold on. Is, is that, that is crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Just oh, thinking about it like that is crazy. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So I guess uh I guess we could begin to wrap things up here. Is there anything else that you wanted to add? Or confirm, uh, deny. Nah, I think that's about it. I mean, 
I think we covered a good bit from especially the information that we have, which technically isn't a lot, but it's enough for us to kind of get a scale of where this universe Mm -hmm. ranks compared to like other series, Dragon Ball, um, Naruto, even all of this stuff. So, yeah, um, yeah, I definitely think it's a great list. And hopefully as more information gets revealed, we come back and hopefully have an even better one. Yeah, I think uh, this is definitely something we will come back to. Um, mm-hmm. cause if we're saying that right now, the, at where bomb is at in season three, that he can do at least a country. Um, and there's other characters out there that obviously have better feats and stronger abilities. Um, right. it's going to be fun to see where the, uh, the war arc will end. Um, uh, because we'll have a better idea. We don't know if any other, you know, continent planet busting abilities are going to happen. Um, but sky's the limit literally in this uh, series. <laughs> Until you reach the final floor. Yeah, which <laughs> we'll find out just like when One Piece finds out. One Piece fans will know. Yo, it'll be crazy if Tower God and One Piece end on the same week. <laughs> Bro, that would hurt. That would hurt so many people. Yo, they'll be like, like, yo, 10 years from now, yo, One Piece is finally done. Hey, but Tower God also is done. Oh, shit. <laughs> now what? <laughs> now what? Kubera, oh, maybe, because I I've heard so much about it, and I heard that it's getting a lot of a lot of uh shit. <laughs> Wait, it's called coronavirus just followed. Hold on. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> coronavirus worldwide. <laughs> What's good? Uh, I know yeah, a lot of people. I got a shout out to. <laughs> That's uh, you. Thank you for following. <laughs> good day, mate. <laughs> Oh man, but yo, folks. Um, I think for the most, like as some people would say, for the most, they they agree with us. Um, you guys let us know. I'm pretty sure your community will let us know as well in the comment section on YouTube. Um, definitely we'll pick this back up. Um, what do you think you want to discuss for our eventual next uh, stream? Let's see, I don't know. You got any um ideas? Um, well, we're almost nearing the uh. Well, we are actually are at the midway point for the Tower of God anime. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess uh, I don't know if that's something that you want to discuss about where you, uh, how you feel about the adaptation so far and stuff like that. Um, but I think, or if you want to wait to the end of the the season to discuss something like that, because I mean we are six weeks out from it. Uh, if you saw, you saw the episode, right? It's from yeah. today, okay, yeah, because they definitely hinted at two characters, <laughs> three characters. <laughs> <laughs> that won't be showing up until like season five. <laughs> if we're if we're being honest, like those two like two the Lopa Beer sisters and Kunmashani Jihad don't show up to like technically it will be it will be the first arc of season two, right? Mm-hmm. So if season two just carries the first arc up until the, the workshop battle workshop. arc. Mm-hmm. So that's just, let's say that's twenty six episodes, right? You get the right. workshop battle arc. Then you get Hell Train uh, Revolution Road, right? All the way that. to Horquin. That's another 26 episodes, mm-hmm. right? Then you get, right after, the, then you get the name hunt, right? So the name mm-hmm. hunt is when the low Pobia sisters officially make their, you know, fights. And, and they they be. So mm-hmm. that's season four, <laughs> at least, right? Because right. the, the name hunt and say the, 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 um, the Hell Joe part is like, say mm-hmm. that's one season together. So that's like 26 episodes, right? Then you get the final station, which might be its own, its own it's thing. Itself, its own right? season. So yeah. that's like six seasons right there, right? And then season seven probably will be when season three of the webtoon, right? Because they this... take a black clover route and just yeah. say, you know what, we are not just... gonna have season. We're just gonna they could do go that. through it. Yeah, they could do that if they take time off now. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, they are already probably working on season two as we speak. But the pandemic right. definitely going to slow things down. But if they take time now and they're planning for a weekly run of this, they can do it. And I mean, listen, it Is might take possible? the it might take the Naruto <laughs> route where we get in one chapter per episode. But literally, one chapter of Tower of God would equal one episode because SIU wrote them like. And then we can have all the dialogue. Yeah, we'll get all the dialogue to make sense. Yeah. Of everything. Yeah. Please no filler. I agree. I agree. I mean, no like, filler. you know, it can't, it, I can't Naruto through us, bro. Right. <laughs> or what piece well, it, it, it's yeah. not, it's not Perion, so we, you yeah, know. Yeah, we're good. We're, I think right, we're, we're good. good. Like, 
as long as they put the budget towards the fights that need to be, that need you know the budget for mm-hmm. like out you got you got to go all out for the the uh the data jihad versus bomb fight oh yeah that, that's like that's the whole season budget yeah you gotta you know you gotta even if everything else looks mad choppy like it looked like gumbo like from back in the days as long right. as that you, fight looks all right right you you got a naruto and sasuke versus momo shiki that fight yeah that's what we need yeah oh man all right all right. With that said, um, yo, shout out your social media. I mean, you guys see it there, but hear from the man yeah. himself. I'll shout it out. All right. Once again, I'm JD um, from Tick Games Network. Um, if you want to keep up with me, follow me at the Otaku Fix. Also, make sure to, um, we're going to do our Hunters Association podcast tonight at 9 Central. Mm-hmm. Um, we will be streaming on Twitch. So definitely um, just look us up, type in Hunters Association, and you should see us. Um, we're going to be doing our review of the episode. And, yeah, that's that's about it. Yes, sir. All right, folks. We'll talk about uh, what we will do next for the next stream um, later on. But, yo, folks, follow, follow our mans here. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the discussion. Uh, definitely going to have more. Hopefully you guys understand where we we're coming from with the power scaling. It's a it's a very broad discussion, so this is this is a work in progress. But hey, man, nobody else is doing it, pretty much. So what else is really talking about these things? Um, but we hope that the community will uh, be receptive and we can all grow and discuss. I would love to have more people. I think that would be pretty cool to get more people's opinions and uh, get a whole big debate forum. You know, maybe a first take for Tower of God. That would be fun. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. We can't be like Stephen A. and and, and Max. So oh no, that's... <laughs> yeah, we can't be like them. But <laughs> all right, folks. So uh, with that said, I'm gonna send you guys over to who is three of you right now? Okay, I'm sending you guys over to my bro Tassar. All right, folks. So I'll catch you guys next time. You already know nobody can be God, but everybody has the potential to be God-like. Doses. Mm-hmm.